Yeah, we are talking about another cold blast, but you know, the story this morning, especially in northern Iowa, was just a little bit of snow that they picked up up there. And you combine that with the wind, and man, you get some problems. This was the time lapse this morning from Algona, and just notice some flurries in the air around this morning, but uh, those are pretty much pushed out of northern Iowa. They're now off into sections of eastern Iowa. We'll take a look at the radar here in just a moment. The other story today, the winds, of course. They've been out of the south and southwest, and that's the good direction. That slowly warms us up. 25 miles per hour, the current sustained wind here in Des Moines, 18 for four dot. These have been gusty at times, up near 30 to 35 miles per hour. But notice out to the west, some changes already starting to move in. Winds down to the northwest around Sioux City, and that's signaling what's to come. An eventual cool down in the forecast. We'll talk about the numbers here in just a moment. Check out these wind chills. It feels like below zero across much of the state. Eight below right now, uh, Waterloo. 20 degrees below the feels like temperature right now in Dubuque. Just below zero here in Des Moines. So I guess we're one of the warmer spots. Some temperatures. These are the actual numbers out there. Ankeny, 18 degrees, 14 for Clarion, 15 in Ames. Carroll this hour checks in at a balmy. 19 degrees, I guess, balmy, considering we were below zero just yesterday for our daytime highs. Viper computer model, check this out. Uh, most of the snow now well off to the east, but if you look out to the west, there is some uh, very light activity up around the Twin Cities. That may just pull into northern po portions of the state as we head throughout the afternoon. For that reason, there is a winter weather advisory. Now, this just went into effect, and it's in effect until 3 o'clock tomorrow morning. The primary concern here north of Highway 20 would be some blowing snow. Not really any new snow, but when you combine those strong, gusty winds out there with the snow that they already have off to the north, could be uh, looking at a visibility problem. Satellite radar, again, most of the precipitation now off to the east, but uh, cloudy skies around for much of the Midwest. There will be some clearing eventually as this next frontal system passes through. But notice the temperatures. These are the current readings. The 40s just out to the west, North Platte, 27 in Rapid City. There's a warm front right here, keeping the warm air down there, and then a cold front that's trailing it. We'll take a look at that right now on Futurecast. And behind that cold front is where the cold blast is going to happen. So as we head throughout the afternoon, say about 4 or 5 o'clock, you'll notice the wind switching around, and that will be the precursor to some very cold weather that's on the way. Futurecast, 3 o'clock, shows most of the precipitation out in eastern Iowa. We start to clear the clouds out tonight into this evening, so it will just be a sunny day on Friday, but a very cold one with high temperatures only in the single digits. Okay, now let's start talking about the bad news. 22 degrees today. It will be a little gusty out there with some blowing snow off to the north. Now, tonight we're back below zero for our overnight low temperatures. That strong wind sticking around. Eight day forecast. I don't even really want to show you this. Look at this. Six degrees, our high temperature on Friday after waking up below zero. We're back below zero Saturday morning. But by the afternoon, it'll feel nice, Kim. We're back in the 20s Saturday and Sunday. Another little dive in the temperatures. By Monday, we're back in the teens. But uh, it'll be nice. Let's just get through tomorrow. There'll be some sunshine and then more average temperatures for the weekend.